is this the end for bank stocks? Great, great underperformance. So bad, bad performance that is uh, for financial stocks, especially relative to tech. You can see here measuring since the start of 2020, uh, financial stocks are up, up 5%. That's pretty good. That, that seems nice on the, the face of things. The worst performing sector in this time frame and technology just as a comparison is up 80% in the same time window and you have energy stocks up 40% in the same time window um and a lot of people especially between the regional bank crisis that's been going on affecting the financial sector and the bank uh sector at large here over the last couple of months and throwing in this uh, the debt ceiling talk uh, that has, of course, I think a lot of us in the back of our minds thinking that it's going to be resolved and you know interest rates aren't going to be affected by this and the financial system will chug along. Uh, still a lot of skepticism around this traditional uh, financial system at large and right now seeming like not a, a single good thing to say about financial stocks and a lot of people uh, calling for, of course, not the end of uh, bank stocks, but not a lot of upside, not a lot of reason for investment. And I wanted to dissect this a little bit further and at the end of the day, see if this is the end for bank stocks. Maybe this is a, a sector that has just be lost relevance here in our overall stock market, or is this just normal sector rotation whereby this sector is underperforming the rest of the market for the last couple of years and will resurge uh, back to middle of the pack or make up this ground against technology and these other sectors. But before we have that conversation, I want to highlight what makes up this financial sector? Because you can trade the regional bank stocks that have been getting absolutely hammered uh, with a regional bank stock ETF. The financial sector has a lot of exposure to those regional banks in certain ways, but is is a, a nice hedge almost, a nice middle ground, I guess I would say, between the stock market at large regional bank stocks. In the middle here, we have this financial sector that's seen considerable downside off of this crisis, but you're not seeing names like JP Morgan, Bank of America, Wells Fargo has been tied to some stuff there, but um, those names aren't directly tied to a lot of um, the problems we've been seeing with those relatively smaller regional banks. And then you also have um, Berkshire here at 13%. And keep in mind that that is, you know, for the intents and purposes of our stock market labeled a financial stock, but Berkshire's holdings are even more diversified here uh, uh, with some exposure to, like I say, the regional bank crisis that has made what some people might see as a value, what some people might see as the end of financial stocks, or what some people might see as a value. Um, but also Berkshire has 50% of uh, Berkshire Hathaway right now is Apple stock. Uh, another big chunk of it is Coca-Cola. Uh, another big chunk of it is Kraft Heinz. And so with this financial sector, you're getting the banks, you're getting that exposure that has brought this market down to what could be a discount or a value um, or could be the end, uh, but also 13% uh, of it being Berkshire Hathaway and 50% of that being Apple means that essentially 6% of <laughs> the financial sector is a little bit hedged with Apple exposure, at least for the moment, of course, Berkshire is uh, moving around their holdings constantly. Uh, but that's a little bit of uh, you know what is actually in this bank stock or financial sector uh, here. And now you rope in the performance of technology against financial stocks here. And, and we looked at, to start the, the segment, the performance of bank stocks for the last handful of years, the worst performing sector um, and underperforming technology 
by 75%, underperforming the S&P 500 by, I think, like uh, 30 or 40% there. Uh, we can go back to the numbers in a second. But I, I want to now focus on the short term as well, uh, because wh why am I bringing this up today? Well, as of today, the last four, four month stretch, uh, the, since the start of the year until now, um, tech is outperforming banks by 31% in just that time span. And I went back since 2010, crunched a whole t a ton of numbers here for this. The largest four month divergence between tech and finance since 2010, more than a decade, was 33%. And the average range is plus or minus 9%. So a huge outlier here being seen in the relative performance of finance and bank stocks to the market at large and technology here, which is the biggest stocks in our overall stock market. Um, and so, you know, if you are a contrarian, you would look at something like this and say, holy smokes, you know, we're two percentage points off the biggest extreme we've seen in a decade plus. We are well outside of if 9% is one standard deviation uh, and 18% is two standard deviations, which would be 95% of the time we're in that. One standard deviation, we're in 68% of the time. Two standard deviations, we're in 95% of the time. Three standard deviations would be 27% around where we're at. 99% of the time, we're within those bounds. And now this market has moved outside into that rarefied air of less than 1% of the time. Huge, huge outlier worth looking at. And like I say, if you're a contrarian, you probably think that this is coming back in line. And if you're a trend follower, you know, this is one to jump on, which is technology stocks beaten the hell out of financial stocks for the last few months, the last few years. And, uh, you know, a lot of people thinking that this traditional financial sector is uh, maybe going to continue to lose relevance. Um, or is this just sector rotation that we're seeing here in XLF, um, a fall in the last year's worth of trading from $42 to $32 and sitting right now uh, around those lows, I would tend to be on the side of sector rotation. We haven't since we've started following sectors of the stock market. Um, found a sector that has just gone to zero and stayed there and and been completely uninfluential throughout the rest of our uh, stock market's life. Um, so, uh, of course, I don't think that this would be the end of a whole part of our stock market, but it could get worse from here, uh, very obviously. Um, and that does become the question because I would tend to think this is, you know, normal, healthy sector rotation. We're seeing some huge extremes uh, especially, you know, for those holding financial uh, stocks and bank stocks, um, but it does bring to mind uh, a market that I was looking at throughout, you know, 2018, 19, and 20 when it finally bottomed out and bounced back, which was the energy sector, and and very similar type vibe to the current financial sector, which was like you couldn't find a good article about energy stocks in that 2018 to 2020 uh, timeframe. Everything was EV is the future. Anything having to do with oil is, you know, for uh, political reasons, uncouth. And also th the stocks that make it up are just circling the lows. I, I can remember being at uh, tasty trade at the time, and we would every week or so refresh the worst performing stocks for uh, I believe it was the this week in stocks segment, and Apache and and uh, uh, other oil stocks were the worst performer. It seemed like week over week it was constant, um, and no one wanted to touch oil stocks. And I, I believe it was in 2020, the energy sector was the best performing sector of the market. Uh, better than the technology sector for that time frame. And now you can see has bounced back from those lows that we saw in the early part of 2020. Sector rotation occurs like this, you know, and, and uh, like I say, I tend to be on the contrarian side of going against these extremes, but it can always get worse. And the question definitely becomes, when will the sector rotate back? Uh, and from what price? Because, you know, I started looking at this 
energy sector, for example, I brought up the fact that we were looking at this in 2018 and 2019, and it didn't bottom out until the start of 2020 there. And so that's a tough ride uh, if you're looking at, you know, from, oh, from 2014 and 2015, uh, the energy sector is off from 100 bucks down to 70 bucks in 2018. That seems like that might be the end of, you know, the rotation out of energy. It fell all the way down to uh, $30 here before bouncing back uh, almost to 100 bucks. And so you have to keep timing in mind and where you're getting in, uh, even if you are going to, <clears throat> excuse me, lean against, you know, a, a tried and true strategy like sector rotation. And so is it the end for bank stocks? Most likely not, but it could get worse before it gets better.